Hey everybody, this is Vito Giswaldi from GameZone.com, and I'm a, I'm about to torture myself. I don't know if you guys have played Dark Souls yet, um, but what happened was this game was coming out, and I was like, oh yeah, I'd love to be the guy to take care of that. You know what we should do? We should do some videos on that game. Uh, you know, I'll do a whole video walkthrough, I said. The hell was I thinking? This is the hardest video game I've ever played. And there's no way I can do a video walkthrough of it. Like, I can't even get past the first boss. Sex, yes please. Let's be a lady this time. Alright, I tried being a thief, and I just immediately died. I need something that has all sorts of strength points. I guess the knight's pretty balanced. Yeah, the knight does not die. High HP. Alright, that sounds good. Physique. That's a lady. Might as well make her kind of attractive. Face. <laughs> That's a lady? That looks like a dude. Really, like, you can only make ugly people in this game. She looks so old. Can I, like, mess with her face and make it not as ugly? Customize. Yeah, she's like old. I want young. Dashing. That is a dude. There's no way that's a lady. That's just a guy. What What about that? It looks like a, like a lady. Kind of. Uh, except. Yeah, why not? Alright. So there's a plot. And the plot is, um... It doesn't matter. It, it's about you're you're gonna die. Is the plot of Dark Souls? So you you just die over and over. Sometimes you're alive as a human, but not very often. All right, let's do this first dungeon. Start off, get the key. The key opens the door. Uh, you start off with like half a sword. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. As you play the game, there's like uh, little notes everywhere that will like tell you what you can do. Uh, and then later on you get an item that lets you leave notes for other people online, but the notes are not all that helpful. For instance, like, there'll be a note that says, FIRE! And then you'll die to fire, and you're like, well, I'm glad a note told me I was gonna die. Literally, I've never found a note, or the note will be like, you know, run. And I'm like, well, which way? Like, how? And then I run and get killed by a dragon. I'm like, well, not that way. If you look in the bottom right, I'm gaining souls, which are, uh... I don't know, good to have. Uh, the more, you get like, if you get souls, this is like experience points, but they're experience points that all go away when you fucking die, which makes this game impossible. Uh, and you can get them back if you go all the way back to where you died. You usually die on the way there, so. You just die all the time. Uh, here's a bonfire, which is like, they're like respawn points. So this is where you would level up your character if you had enough points. You gotta find bonfires all the time. Alright, so this part sucks. This was the first time I died, but at least now I know what to do, kind of. So whatever, everything's fine. Oh, there's a little thing on the ground. What does it say? Oh god! It's a monster! So that thing will just kill you if you try to fight it, so we'll go this way. Got a guy throwing arrows at us. Alright, so we gotta actually equip that. And I have a shield. Broad sword! Because I'm a broad. I'm playing as a lady. Oh! Defend. What's up? Knock that off. Stupid archer. Traverse the white light. Usually when you do that, it means you're about to die to, like, something awful. Oh, that's a boulder. And I got hit by it. That's where my buddy's having a party. Oh, yeah, I got hit by the boulder. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, you. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm not dead. He's I'm going dead. to die. I don't know why he's afraid that he's going to die, because when you die, you become what I am. But I guess he's saying I'm a special dead person. Estus Flask, yeah. So here's what the Estus Flask is. You get a... Uh, does he not give me the key? Give me the key. Oh. Yeah, that's the one I want. No, so uh, you have these things called Estus Flasks, which are... Well, I did not pronounce that as a word. Estus Flasks are just potions. They're, you know, health potions. But they're health potions that always replenish when you visit one of them bonfires. And the thing is, you can also spend humanity to make it so you get ten potions instead of five when you rest at a bonfire. It's important to do that. I don't know, this game has all sorts of stuff, but what it basically comes down to is 
Find a bonfire that's near the boss. Make sure you have 10 potions before you fight the thing, because you're just going to die. You're supposed to be better at parrying than I am. Oh, so that's not the button. Yeah, like that. R1 will falling. Let's do a plunging attack, which will prove very useful in a second. But I'll probably just screw this up. Oh, plunging attack. That worked. All right. Uh, let's get away. Run. Oh, I didn't run. Dude, run. Get up. Oh, don't roll. That's another thing about this game. Sometimes you just do the wrong thing and you're mad about it. Dude, just run. That's the one. That's the button. Oh, God. He's trapped. Oh, Lord. Oh, pots. Stop. 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 Oh, he's looking right at me. Oh, I hate it. All right. Oh, no. Yeah, now. Oh, get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, it can fly? Yeah, now hit it, hit it. No, it's over there. Roll, roll, roll. That's a jump. Flasking up. All right, that's our last flask. We got to beat this thing now. It missed. It missed, it missed. What is up? Come on, we almost got it. Come on. We just wanted to miss one more swing. Miss. Yeah, that's it. And... I hate your belly. Don't fly, don't fly. Oh, it's flying. Oh, that hurts bad. Oh, <laughs> you'll get in there. No, no, no. Roll. Now go, now go, 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 go. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. I got it, right? Is it dead? Oh, it's not dead. One more hit, one more hit. Yeah, what's up? That's what you get. I got Scott Pilgrim's key. Gonna go throw a party. Yes! This is kind of like a walkthrough. Maybe I could do it. Maybe I could do a full walkthrough of Dark Souls. I don't know. Maybe you guys should leave a comment if you want to see more. What do we got here? I did do a good job. Thank you. I feel like there's like some secret item somewhere around here, but there's not actually. I remember looking around for like a while. Oh, wait, there's... There we go. Yeah, over there. Soul lost and dead. Um, what that is, is see how we have like 1,300 soul points? Those are like soul points that you can keep in item form. So you don't... Because you don't lose your items when you die. So you're like, oh, cool. I'll just keep those around until I'm ready to level up. Uh, let's just go up here to the cutscene. Can I spoil it? There's going to be a cutscene. Wow, look at this cliff. That's pretty cool. Oh, I wanted to jump off of it. So, um, yeah, this is the plot. The plot is that I'm a zombie man, lady, and that I'm now I'm a chosen zombie lady, and this giant-ass bird is going to take me to the land of the zombies or something, because I was, I was in zombie prison, which is where they put zombies, uh, but now they're taking me somewhere else to fulfill a prophecy. Okay, so this bird's gonna drop me off in this horrible zombie castle where all of Dark Souls takes place. Um, and from here, the game just gets devastatingly hard. So if you would like to watch me get uh, murdered in Dark Souls, just leave a comment and uh, we'll do some more videos. I'm gonna go rest at this here bonfire. Yeah, I'm gonna kindle up or whatever at the shrine. Leave a comment, tell me what you think.